What's up, everyone? It's me, CN Tsukaima, and welcome to CN Figures. Figures in your house. And for this tour review, we're going to look at the Dungeons and Dragons action figure Presto, my favorite character in the series. And you can see right there in the front side of the package, we get this nice looking picture of the figure. And right there in the bottom, there's the name of the character. And right there in the front, like in the top, there's the name of the series. And we get a picture of the character himself. And we also get another one right here. I really love the artwork right there. Looking very nice. Okay, in the back side, we get another picture of the figure with the accessories that he comes with. And there's more figures right there in the set that you guys can collect. And right there in the corner, we see the name of the series again. And the name of the character as well. Okay, there's nothing in this side. And also both bottom and top. So enough chatting. Let's take him out. And here's the figure out of his box. And I don't know what to say about this figure it came out very good and look at the paints he has all around his clothes they're very clean and little bit brighter and like i said this character is my favorite one in the series and they done very good for making him i don't know what type of plastic material they use to make this effect and this piece is very nice. I even love the color it has all around it. And you can bend it just a little bit. And we do get some detail right here in the top of this piece. And there's the peg so, so you can attach it on well whatever hand you want. But it's mostly for the right hand. But still, I really love the color it has right there. Just look at the nice effect right there he has on the top. And there's the peg right there in the bottom so you can attach it on the bottom of the hat. And I really like how they add some sculpting right there in the top. And this effect is so good. And it's so soft all around it. Not bad what they've done on this piece. And we also get another one. Also the exact same material, the exact same paint, and a little bit of good work right here all around it. I really love how this part came out. It's so good. And there's the pig, so you can attach it on the hat. Here is his signature hat that he comes in the show. I really love the nice green color he has all around it. And it's also brushed all the way in the top. And it does has a little bit of sculpting all around here in the middle. Like you guys can see some bumps. And I also love right here in the tip. And there's the little hole so you can attach whatever part you want. Like, okay. He also comes with one changeable hair. And okay, I do love the brown color they added for his hair. And with some little bit sculpting right there in the back. And some brushing all around. And some sculpting right there in the front. And there's the peg so you can attach it on the hat. Hold it. I think I have it backwards. Let me see. There we go. You see? You can attach it with the hair. With the effect. Hold it. Let me see. Where is it? You see? And also... Sorry about that, it's that my phone just fall down. Anyways, here's the pig, and there's the hole, and you can attach it right there, hold it. And there we go. And presto, he also comes with this piece. Just like the other figures I reviewed before, and you can see they added some nice paints all around it. With this um, light color orange, with some black all around, and also... The white color on the numbers and every one. And I can feel some softness. Not softness. Like smoothness. And some sculpting all around this piece. And it's also not pointy at all. 
but it's also hard right there in the corners. And here's Presto again. And he looks kind of different than the TV show. Because as for me, they gave him some type of monkey face looks. But either way, everything else came out okay. Because just like his changeable hair, we get the exact same sculpting design right there in the front side of his hair. And also in both sides. And also right here in the back. And I really love this sculpting a lot. And the same brushing and also the same detail. But instead of the peg, they added this detail line right there on his hair. But his ears, they look kind of big and not so funny. But I like the sculpting that he has on his ears. And just like in the show, there's his signature glasses. But I don't remember if they were black or they were brown. Because right here, they look kind of black. And I see they didn't add any glass on his glasses. Probably will come out wrong right there. And there's his signature smile. Sometimes he does smiles in the show. And his color brown eyes right there in each one. And also his eyebrows. And his nose <laughs> looks kind of funny too. But his whole face and also the glasses is all sculpted very great. And look at his chin little bit pointy and he added a little bit of bumps right there on his face but look right here on the torso they added a little bit of light colored blue right here and it's very smooth in the front side and also in the back side but look in the back they added some wrinkles here and also right here in the front but I don't know what he added muscles he's just a kid but either way i still love the sculpting and the brushing that he has right here on the bottom and look we get more wrinkles here in the front and also on the back and we get a little bit of clean color right here in the middle i don't know what color it is but it's very nice with some detail right there and also in the front but look Right here, they added his pocket right there, and it's so sculpted. I really love the color he has right here on his waist. Everything around here came out very great. And, okay, they added more wrinkles here on the sleeves, right here in the, where it's the biceps. And they added some bunch of hard sculpting right here on these parts in each one. And with some little bit of detail here. Okay, not bad what they done with his hands in each one. Like the holding hand right here. You can see the fingers sculpted very good all together. And this is the only hand that grabs the hat. But they make his thumb right there kind of small. And also right there in the index. But not, not a single detail like fingernails in each one. And this is the pointy hand hold it i'm losing focus there we go and still no detailed nail that he has all around but you can see his knuckles right here and with some little bit of detail in the back of his hand and also in the front and also in this side and whoa right here they done a pretty good job with the thumb on this hand and you can see more detail here around the wrist with the green color it is and right here you can bend it both back and front. And we do get a little bit of wet paint right in the inside. And you can see they added some blue color, well, light color blue on his pants. But it doesn't have not a single detail like wrinkles or anything. But his shoes, they look kind of funny. We do get the exact same green paint around there. With some little bit of detail sculpting around the back of his ankles. But there's really nothing at all. Well, I do feel a little bit of sculpting right there in each shoe all around. Alright, now let's get on with his articulation. 
And before I show you the articulation, I want to tell you guys, before you open these toys, you need to be careful with the body parts on these figures. Because I've seen some videos, and they show that some of the arms and legs, they kind of fall off. So you, you need to be careful with the articulation parts in every figure. Alright, so you can move his head side to side, a complete rotation. Whoa. Ah. He can look down a lot, he can look up, and he has a little ball joint, and I am not going to move the head because it feel it's going to break, so I'm not moving the head anymore. You can open his arms this much, rotation in each one, but we don't get any bites at swivel, but we do get some swivel here on the arms, and you can bend them just a little bit, and we do get some wrist articulation, some Bit as well, torso articulation, no waist articulation, but no torso articulation at all. But you can bend it back and forth, no ball joint right there. And you can open his legs this much, and you can bend it just a little bit. Rotation here, and some ankle articulation right there. Comparing size, but first, let's see how tall he stands. And also, I want you guys to meet my little parakeet right there. Her name is Snowy or Snowflake. Hi, my little Snowy. <coughs> She's so cute. Okay, so let's see how tall Presto stands. He stands just exactly six inches tall. Here he is with my other figures of Dungeons and Dragons. And you can see that Hank, he's taller than Presto. And I believe that Presto and Diana, they stand the exact same height. And for a moment, I thought that these two will stay together. But I was so wrong. But I really love the height and also the skills that each figure has all around. Here he is with my Marvel Legends Sunfire and my Diamond Select Sokka from the Avatar series. And you can see that my Marvel Legends stands a little bit taller than Presto and Sokka as well. And there he is with my third Marvel Select, Thanos. And there you have it, guys. I really, really love the green paints that he has on his clothes. And especially love the work, what they've done on the special effect right there. I even love the color and the height came out okay. Everything came out very good. Not bad what they've done to make this character. Alright guys, that's all for today. So thank you for watching today's review. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, leave a like. If you want to share this video, go ahead, be my guest, comment. But remember, do not leave any offensive comments or saying bad words. If you do that, your comment will be removed from this video. And subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. And please follow my Facebook page, CM Figures. Follow me on Twitter and follow me on Instagram. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. So take care, be safe, keep on hunting, and keep on collecting. And I'll see you next time. This CN Sukaima and Presto. And we're out in line.